First, fair, everywhere. You're watching CBS 6 News. California's Attorney General has filed suit against 20 companies claiming they sold toys containing unlawful quantities of lead. Yeah, that suit alleges the companies knowingly exposed children to lead and failed to provide warning of the risk. The move follows major recalls of toys and other goods during the last year by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. Mattel says it was expecting this lawsuit and has already started a system of checks to make sure quality and safety standards aren't violated again. You know, we know toys have slipped through the safety cracks recently. But what about over the years? It's our special report tonight. Oh, no, 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 no. When she's not selling homes, real estate agent Carrie Burton likes to spend time in hers, oh, playing guys. with her kids. You know, we've heard so much about the toy recall. Of course. But she's seen the reports about dangerous toys. Off the shelves. And with the holiday season... In October alone... My children are the most precious things in the world to me, and to think that there's lead or something else even that could be in these toys that could hurt my kids is one of the scariest thoughts that I can think of. Safety bulletins like this have been up for a long time at stores like Walmart, but parents are paying a lot more attention to them these days, and they're going online. Carrie can find out if any toy she bought recently has been recalled, but what about toys she bought years ago? What about the toys you played with when you were a kid? We called the Consumer Product Safety Commission up the road in Washington, D.C. Right now, they are overwhelmed with requests for lead testing. So we did one better. We came to the number one accredited lab in the country, right here in Richmond. We brought Schneider Labs a random collection of Carrie's old toys. Out of 15 toys, four metal cars test positive for small amounts of lead, the highest at just 24 parts per million. Clear to see that is well below the maximum of 600 parts per million, deemed safe by the Federal Hazardous Substance Act. But here's where things aren't so clear. The Centers for Disease Control, another federal agency, says there is no safe level of childhood exposure to lead. Schneider Lab Director Raja Abuzaki says the safest thing for you to do is test all of your old toys. Everyone, families should be worried and uh, they should also know what the signs are for lead poisoning. They include loss of appetite, weight loss, abdominal pain, vomiting, and learning disabilities. We also tested a collection of toys made over 20 years ago. Again, small amounts of lead, and again, in levels the feds say is safe. Some parents are turning to smaller retailers this year. Well, there is a sense, just like with, with uh, parents, a sense of betrayal. Debbie says her store deals with smaller manufacturers, some even parents who started companies because they wanted something educational and safe for their own kids. But even she took a rare hit, finding out some of the Thomas trains she had stocked, made in China, were part of a massive recall. A lot of the manufacturers over in China um, are trying to make a, uh, a dollar just like everybody else is trying to make a dollar and so sometimes they will uh, the quality can sometimes slide because of that Carrie says while shopping at a consignment store recently she saw a recall toy for sale so she's sticking to the old shopping slogan buyer beware you know it makes you think about where you want to shop and if you can really trust those stores all right, these are just some of the toys that we tested here. And we want to stress, there is no smoking gun here. These toys, all of them, according to most standards, are perfectly safe for your kids. But how can you be sure about your older toys? Log on to WTVR.com. Look for our special report on toy safety. You're going to find a link to the Consumer Product Safety Commission telling you all about recent recalls, as well as recall information from major toy companies like Mattel and stores like Walmart. You'll also find a link to the Centers for Disease Control with the symptoms that you need to look for if you think your kids have been exposed to high levels of lead. Those home lead testing kits, they can tell you there's lead in your children's toys, but not how much. You can see the ones that Consumer Reports says are the best out there. And if you'd like to take your toys for an in-depth test in a lab, We'll show you how to get in contact with the lab that we used, Schneider Labs.